<laughs> what's going on my friends well i did a uh, a video earlier and i was driving down the road and i'm talking and all of a sudden everything just went into slow motion it was like i mean it was the whole video except the very last part and i was like i there was an app running in the background and i think that that interfered with it go figure i don't know maybe i can salvage it but anyway, I was talking about a lot of things that I want to do with the van here. I'm sitting in the van right now. There's no power in it except the vehicle power. So I'm going to working on i got to finish up and put yellowish. When you polyurethane over colors, it yellows it, but that's okay. I, I still want to finish up so some places here that needs to be polyurethane. I'll finish the surface of this and get that done. Touch up the counter. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the curtain. I still need to get Velcro up top and work on it to get that more efficient. I think it's done very well. But, but my biggest thing here is configuration. And I don't know. I, I talked about when I built this thing, I talked about, you know, I could take everything out and, and redo things, which is always possible. It's very much the, the possibility here, my friends. Um, I'm going to get my storage efficient up under the bed i want maybe some cubbies and some stuff put where i shelves where i could put stuff up and get that more efficient where i get my, my gear in when i travel the bed is fine sometimes i kind of wish it was lower but it's still the storage up under you know it's kind of a, that storage of under could be a really good closet it could be a lot of cool things um there are van lifers that have made you know closets out of that stuff you know and done really cool creative things um, this shelf here is holding like my clothing and a lot of stuff in storage. In fact, it's got a lot of that. It's pretty cool. However, I'm wondering, like my Thetford down there, you see the, let me get the phone to the position here. You see my Thetford curved toilet. It's just sitting there for right now. Normally it's up under the bed when I open that door. Um, I'm thinking about if it's deep enough, it might go to the bottom of this cabinet or I may need to... I don't know, maybe get this cabinet out and try something different. Now, I thought about doing some overhead. I, I talked about what mule bags are. Those, they're overhead storage containers. They go on these tracks. They look like duffel bags, but they're shelves. They're overhead containers. Um, it would be too much here, I think. But have one up there where I could put clothing in and do that. And do that. And maybe do something with this space here a little bit differently. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've got the bench here and I was kind of wondering my most, one of my biggest requests to try to figure out is with the bench here is to try to, um, and I love this thing is to have a table for a workspace. And that's the one thing I loved about, um, the Heimer active and the, the Winnebago Travato vans. And even I think one of the pleasure ways is you had the bench going facing forward to the front of the van, kind of like my, my Winnebago was. If you look back at the old videos, I had that table with that bench. It was so cool. And the, that table, it always had a good workspace. Um, not enough space to do that in this. However, there is a solution, and it dawned on me. And I had been off and on looking at that um, solution uh, over the course of time. And I'm now I've got to figure out how I can mount it. And that is what they call a lagoon mount and the lagoon mount is like a, a bracket and arm and have a plate that mounts somewhere and it detaches and it swivels around and you can put your own table on it so i could get a table about the size of this about the size of this counter right here or i can do my own table um about close to the size of the bench there and just kind of i can use the space to work with here i can detach it and lean it up between the bench and the thing when i'm traveling i can have it there and the bracket down below of course my refrigerator goes down below if you can tell there sorry i don't have the tray i'm still plaster dipping it i've got another couple of coats to put on that and as you can see this is all yellowed i'll get another coat and get this finished there's going to be a cushion over this bench here by the way it's going to cover all that so it'll be fine but uh hopefully I get to point and i have to paint any more on this it's such a pain in the ass but when i went to charlotte about a week or so ago sorry about the movement on my camera guys i don't have my my thing with me but I got my new drawer, got that taken care of, that's done. 
And, uh, you know, I was just kind of debating some things yesterday in my mind of, is my microwave too big? You know, some of these, these Class Bs like the Heimers, I had a smaller microwave, which was cool. You know, it was very cool getting it fit in there. But, you know, the Travados have this, pretty much this type of microwave here that's bracketed in. And it's all kind of positioned differently. And in fact, this microwave, I probably wouldn't have to have it this deep of a cabinet it would probably be able to go back further, but it just, it all depends on uh, what you want out of all this stuff. It really does. So just the small things, man. And it takes you a little time to kind of figure out what you want out of this. And I think my best advice here is when you build these vans, like I did, I built this thing so I can unbolt things and get it out of here. I could reconfigure this whole van if I wanted. It would take several days to do it, but I could do it. Because plus nuts are bolting all the stuff in for the most part. Um, is that you get one of these fans and just build like a platform bed in the back. And get your totes and just small things. And I would just kind of be thinking about how you'd want it before you go build it. Because it is, it's a work in progress. It really is. It takes some time, <clears throat> excuse me, some time to figure out just what configuration you want my thing is a workspace and then have my gear my music gear with me if it wasn't for the music gear it wouldn't even make a difference i could configure this thing however the hell i wanted to do it but just have workspace to be able to convert to space i think would be the, the ticket on this deal so what should i say i'm eating a granola bar sorry that's what's flopping around for the camera um but right now, the van's a mess. I got stuff all over my bed. Because I've had to move the stuff up here from, you know, getting the power out. That's all crazy. But but it'll come around here. I um, spoke to the guy. The guy from Ames actually called me the other day. I don't know if I mentioned that about the battery. He called me and he said, I pretty much have got an idea what may be wrong. And I never said anything to him. But I had thought that maybe the battery management system was bad. And he, he is thinking that. So there's uh, there was another test he was going to put and just run a heavy load on it. And I think he's going to find out it's, the power is just dropping on this thing. And he said, more than likely, I'm just going to recommend that you get a new battery sent to you, which I'm okay with. So there's a good chance I've got a new battery coming my way, and that's going to be cool. So we shall see on that deal. But what I'm going to have to do here when I get this stuff done is I'm going to clean this van again thoroughly. I haven't been in here in a few weeks. It's just been sitting here, and I don't like that. I like to be in here and just uh, get this thing back to normal. I'm ready to get back in my van. I really do like being in this thing. It really is cool. So we shall see how this goes. It's probably going to be another week, week and a half, before I see that battery, and that's fine. There are things that I can be doing here. But like I said earlier, the weather is amazing today. Oh, the sky's clear. It's 70, no humidity. It's what it should be like all year round. I love it. This is the kind of day you get out and and uh, and do things. Don't sit around inside all day. So it really is cool. Beautiful day. So I'm going to use that for a few hours to uh, get some stuff done. And this curtain is one on my agenda today. Uh, I'm going to go hang out with Clancy this evening. And I'm going to pick his brain a little bit on some things because... And what I'm planning on doing. And we will figure it out. Um, as for the lagoon table. Let me move this broom over here. As for the lagoon table. If I am. What's on, under the curtain here. I'll show you how I do this. I just have some snap bit bur buttons. And there is some Velcro here. And it's kind of. Buttons that are. Coming undone here. As you can see. It's pretty cool. But I've got to get the Velcro situated on the top right here. It's not all on there and it needs to be done right. So we're going to we're gonna do that. We're going to get that Velcro situated here and redo all that. But um, what I was saying here is well, I've got to figure out how I'm going to mount that lagoon plate for the lagoon mount. So as I'm working on this, down here there is a plate. But I think it's too short. That plate is pretty tall. So getting it in there is a possibility. It's going to come up a little bit tall. I don't know if I want to do it. It may be behind the seat here when I do it. Or I'm thinking about if it comes out, mounting it to this cabinet right here. 
and the lagoon mount will come up and come forward towards the bench. We'll see. Because the tabletop that I put on there, you can only put one that's so big. But what I need would be perfect size. It would probably be about a 25 to a 36 long by 20 deep. That's about that's the exact same size as the bench, 36 by 20 deep. Um, I don't really see that I need one that big because when I'm working, it's just my laptop and peripherals and doing my music. Uh, the speakers, on the other hand, I may figure out how to get those mounted on something. Maybe a shelf up here on the wall might be kind of cool. I'm not against up here maybe trying to get a shelf and maybe coming out a little bit and then have my speakers up here that can play the music as I'm writing it. So, um, When I'm composing music, though, got to have them angled in front of me, coming towards me, so that's a... That's a whole recording thing. It's not like listening to music in, in a room that's already recorded. It's a little bit of a different situation. So I'll figure all that out, man. That's nothing. But anyway, I will keep you guys posted on this. I got a lot of cool things going on here, and I'm ready to get back in this van. I am. I'm getting the bed I'm in. It's just killing my neck. <laughs> my memory foam is my is the ticket here, and I'm just wanting to to uh, float. There's things I want to do. I want to go take a few small trips and you know over to uh, to a few places here before the end of the year while the weather's still somewhat nice and some weekenders and uh, and do that. So, but anyway, I'm jumping off here and I thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.